if you want something bad enough, you can do it. It's just a matter if you want it that bad. If you want it that bad, you go out and fucking get it. If you want it, but you're lackadaisical about it, or you just think about it, and you don't take the fucking steps to get it, you're not gonna get it. But if you're a fucking go-getter, and you have the mindset, and the heart, and the dedication, and the drive to get it, you will fucking get it. You just gotta put your mind to it and do it. Greatness and glory are never the same. because I already said in the year 2020, I am finished. I am done, I am not coming back. If I choose to do the work, if I choose to do the work, if I choose not to complain, if I choose to eat those meals and, and give a shit about my damn success more than anybody else, I put myself in a great position to be seven time Michigan. Run up and you run your mouth, you're gonna get done up. Period. Be successful and have a name that your children will be forever grateful for. How many of you? People are not paying you for the product you have, they are paying you for the service they get. For service, that's what they're paying for. Until you understand that the people are what you need. How to manage them, how to ensure that they get the product or the service they are paying for. You are not going to get money. If you are going to be successful this year, you have to become obsessed with winning. You have to. You cannot be 99% interested in the job. It's 100% or forget it. Forget it totally. Totally. Pareto's principle says 20% of your investment brings 80% of your result. How do you get your work done? My success is not that I'm the best in this industry. I am the most obsessed in any industry I put my head to do. Any business I enter, I die in that business. 99% will not meet me there. It's 185. I will dash you the remaining 85. If I have a meeting by 11.30 at night, I'm there. If I have to sleep in my car, I'm there. I don't give myself excuses for failure. My wife will be at home. I'll call her. i say I love you. But look, if you don't win, there's no money in your house. Until it is something that you are ready to give up with all you have. You have not started. You are depending on salary. Salary means nothing. It's bagash. Until you take ownership of your company, of that unit, take ownership. You have not started this business. 
Your ID card means nothing. Your service is everything. 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 Business is war. Treat it as such. When I go out there, I don't go out there as a joker. I go to fight. My dressing is a weapon. My haircut is a weapon. My perfume is a weapon. I go out there to frustrate competition, to take their market share. My I am just your boy is a weapon. Every time I tell you I'm just your boy, I hear you know I'm just your It's a weapon. I need to break them and enter into them. Then when I bring the meat home, you now come and make a mess. Keep it under there to spoil. Come on. I will not take it back. I know how to fight outside. I know how to fight inside. I'm very skilled at it. Your failure or your success is tied to your mind. Not your size. And let me tell you something. By 7.30, the sun would have gone down. By 7 a.m. tomorrow, the sun will come up. The sun is not waiting for you. Time is not waiting for you. If you don't give your best now, you'll be an entertainment tool in the next future. Next future. So you need to take success as a pattern. You must not close a day without succeeding that day. You must succeed at your KPI that day, whether you like it or yes. I'm a ruthless winner for whatever God has put into my hand. Ruthless. I get knocks and injuries left, right and center, but I refuse to give up. Hard work will never kill you. It will stress you, but will never kill you. If you want to win tomorrow, change the way you were doing things yesterday and start a new leaf today. <laughs>